Hello guys and welcome back to our Subugly channel. And today we are going to um we are going to make our own survival game. This is part one. So let's I make a new trail so we are rolling. And we are going to create a simple um simple um uh, what a costume. So I'm just gonna draw a small circle. Then I'm gonna give it some eyes and a mouth just to make a face. Okay, then um, let's readjust something. Okay, okay, it looks good now. Let's rotate it so it's facing to the right. Or if you want, you can make it um, rotate and don't rotate at all, but I'll just do it, it's, it's like better. So now, this is where we start coding. So first, we're going to do a one click for, so forever, and um, we're gonna, um, if mouse down, then point towards mouse pointer and move 10 steps. And why not use the um, WASD controls? Well, that's because I'm using an iPad. So if I use if I use those, then I'm I'm not gonna be able to I'm not going to be able to test my game because I'm using my iPad. And and this looks good. And let's use it in our, um, put it here so now I can do it. Um, so this looks good, but, but it should stop instead of going too far. So this is really easy to fix, actually. So what we want to do is grab an if else, then add an equals operator. Then a distance to um, pounce pointer. Then let's put this here. Then put whatever your speed is. So I'm gonna change mine to four. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, not an equals operator. Um, You can do either this one or this one. It doesn't really matter which one you use. So let's do distance to mouse pointer is bigger than four then move four steps but if not then we're gonna move distance to mouse pointer steps now let's try it it's gonna look first well i know and it works and so does also the rotating and if you if yours don't doesn't like doesn't want to rotate then you can do set rotation style to um, don't rotate. Then we get we get uh, this. It's not rotating at all, even if it goes backwards. How funny! But I suggest doing all around, so it looks better. Okay, now we're gonna get onto the bosses here so here we make the designs a little bit better so i'm gonna make my um boss okay we get this do this and another one then i'm gonna shrink this a little bit and we're gonna do this and this sign. And actually, do this to this sign. And this. Great, now I have my boss ready. I'm gonna call it. Call, I'm gonna call it I. Uh, I'm gonna call it I, not E.
Okay. Um, okay, I think that looks good now. So now, we are going to do the code. And this is going, so let's also do the um, movement for this one. We can just copy this. And instead of this, we are going to do forever, move to sprite one, and distance this, this, and then put whatever your speed wants to be. I'm going to do five. Actually, no, I don't want it to be faster than the original one, or the player, I mean. So I'm going to do three, three. Nice. And it's chasing, and oh. Oh, wait, um. Oh, wait, no, okay. So what we want to do is to give some distance between the player and the, um, the boss. So I'm going to change this to 60 instead. Then we're going to do this. And then we're going to put here negative 30. Oh, not 3. Negative 3. And let's rename these sprites. Player and boss. So now we've got our working boss here. It's just like how I did my um uh, my boss from Shape Survival, except this one can it always points at the player. So, um, now it's done. I... Let's do the background. So... So, I'm just gonna... It's gonna take a while for me to make the, the background. So... So, it's gonna look like a little... Little red cave. Oops, oops, oops. Okay, um, there's... Okay, nice. Nice. Now let's do the same thing, but let's clip horizontally and then you can do this. this uh, um, can flip this vertically. Then you can do the same thing. Okay. Now we've got our um. Boss background. Yours could be different at my way. It's not always gonna be the same thing. And you can use this tutorial too, but if you share the game, just make sure you credit me for it. Um, oops. Yes. Oh. Sorry. Um, wait. I don't know which one. Okay, well, let's try this. Okay. Now it looks like a cave for the eye system. And I think I'm going to wrap it up with the video now. And I'm, and I'll see you in part two where we start doing the projectiles. Anyways, goodbye.